Hey guys, my name is Mokne Kalanda and today I want to share with you guys a little story. Actually, those are two stories, but one story from two times. Uh, so I think I should first tell you the beginning that happened three years ago. Uh, I live next to the border with uh, another country and me and my friend were planning to go to that uh, country's capital, which is not really far away from us, it's like 130 kilometers, just only like that, and that's it, and we decided to go there, and while going back home, it was in the middle of the night, I believe, uh, police stopped us, there was a uh, main road, and we just needed to go to the left, and we missed that road, maybe because we were listening to music and singing and so on, we missed that road, and we that went directly through that main road, and then, we ended up in another town, but that wasn't a problem because um, I already knew that town. I have been there and I knew the way home from that town, but it's actually more far away than it should have been from that road that we should have turned to. It doesn't matter. So, police stopped us and I thought maybe I did something wrong, but then I realized that that's just normal checking and especially that we are foreigners and police uh, officer came to us and he started talking to us and we showed our documents and that's it and he said you need to sign in our book and we were like fine that's okay that's normal because you're foreigners you need to sign this and this you need to write down your first name your last name your um, I don't know what else but he asked for our numbers and we thought maybe that's normal if he's police officer maybe that's normal he knows what he asks for and we wrote down those numbers and when we went home he started texting me like hey do you want to meet it's that police guy blah 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 he was like 28 or 27 years old so now, right now he should be around 31 years old he was pretty young actually and i am 23 right now so i was 20 back then and yeah so he started texting me and the first message that I told him was I saw a ring on your finger so why the hell would you text me and why the hell do you want to meet me if you are married and he was like well you know I have some problems with my wife blah 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 and I was okay fine if you have problems with your wife deal with your wife not with other girls and he started texting me messages a lot of messages he started texting me uh, sending me pictures but normal not nudes or something and when i started ignoring him he still started he still uh, continued texting me but then he started texting my friend and she answered him and also said like why the hell do you text me if you had a wife and he was like i want to kiss you and i want to kiss your friend blah 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 it was really insane so finally we both ignored him and <clears throat> i'm sorry in maybe one month he didn't text us anymore and almost a week ago I have been to the lake, which is not really far away from my town. It's like, I don't know, maybe 30 kilometers, so I think it's not really far away. And I went there with my friend and police stopped me. And I was like, I didn't over speed it or something. I didn't know why the hell they stopped me. And I was like, okay, fine. I think maybe that's just checking because I'm from another country. And the police came to me. And he said, like, uh, do you know why I want to find you? And my first words were like, I know you, I remember you. And he was like, no, I don't know. I said, I know you, you were texting me like three or two years ago. And he was like, no, that's impossible. I haven't texted you. I don't know you, blah, 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 blah. And he started telling me that he wants to find me because of my uh, number plate lighting, because it didn't work. And I knew it didn't work. I was about to change it the other day. And... I started telling him, um, you, don't you really remember me? And I was like, no, I don't remember you. I told him his name and I said, I still have your number, I still have your pictures. And he said, show me, your, show me my pictures. I showed him his pictures. I didn't have those pictures on my phone. I just had it on the chat that I was talking to my friend. Like we sent each other those pictures that he sent to us. So we, uh, 
sent, uh, I showed him those pictures, I found those pictures, I showed him and I said, uh, if you want to find me, okay, find me, but I will tell your wife that you texted me, I still have our all conversations, I have screenshots of, of our all conversations, I still have your pictures as you see, I still have your number and I will start calling you all night long until your wife picks up your phone and of, of course as well I will tell your bosses that you uh, used your like, I don't know, position of police officer, as police officer, and you asked for our number and you used it for your purposes, not for police purposes. I mean, I then realized that, uh, I mean, I've learned like a few weeks later that I really didn't even have to write down my number. Like really, poli other police officers told me that. So he was like, smiling and he didn't know what to say and he was thinking and he was like okay monica turn that warning sign on and go away from this country and change your life and i was like fine okay that was easy and i came back home and maybe in two days i saw that someone texted me on whatsapp from like a foreign number but i didn't really check which country because I didn't have time, I went to work and so on and in the evening I checked and the message was hello, can you please send me my pictures back? and I was like, what? if you send me your pictures, that means you have those pictures why the hell would I send you your pictures? okay, and he said uh, I, I want those pictures, okay, do you want to meet? what do you do on this day and this day? I was like, I will be working and he was like, do you want to meet after that? maybe you want to go to see uh, or I don't know, take a walk and I was like, what the hell do you expect from me? and he was like, nothing and I was like, tell me what do you expect from me because I don't want to date or I don't, I don't want to date a married guy or to be the girl who helps to cheat and he was like I want to kiss you, I know you like me, uh, don't you like me? Am I not your type? I know I'm your type. And I was like, man, I mean, he is really handsome, he's super handsome, but it doesn't matter how handsome a guy can be, if he has a wife, he shouldn't tell such things to other girls. And I didn't want to chat to him, and, uh, and he started texting me like, I don't know, maybe 100 messages, I'm not lying, it's really a huge list of his messages and I didn't tell him anything, I didn't tell him a word and then I thought that maybe I need to tell something because that won't stop and I left him voice message that you have a wife, you should love your wife, if you have problems with your wife, you should deal with that, you should change something, you should do something, not find other girls and I don't want to be the girl who will help cheat, I don't want to be the girl who cheats or something, I'm not a cheater and I have never lied to my boyfriends, I mean and I think that I don't, I don't want to spit in the water that I would drink but I think that I will never cheat on my boyfriend and I don't understand how people can cheat on their girlfriends, boyfriends, wives and husbands. That's really insane, really. So he told me like, okay, I understand you, blah, blah, blah. And he didn't text me anymore and I'm really happy about that. But the purpose of this video was that I blackmailed the police officer which is not really smart because maybe I could have got in problem, I don't know, but I'm glad I didn't. And if I had to do this again, I would probably do that because he didn't tell me what amount of fine it was, but he said it was a big amount and I asked other friends from the country how much would I pay and he said about 30 euros. So it's not really big money, I mean, as a fine, but 30 euros still 30 euros so I didn't want to pay and I think I would do the same thing the other time probably I would do that and what I want to say that girls be smart be the you should not help cheat to other guys on their girlfriends on their wives it doesn't matter girlfriend or wife actually if they're still together and I still even think that it doesn't matter if you are with person for six months or you're the person for six years 
still the pain is the pain and it still hurts anyway so imagine his wife figuring out that he texted some foreigner girls that he wants to meet them and she would never know because he would probably tell that he's at work or something so girls do not do that and boys of course you should not cheat on your girls and you should not help if you know that someone if you start talking to someone and you realize that that someone has the other side already do not get into that relationship just ignore that and that's it trust me you will not get your castle on someone else's ruins so please keep that in mind and be brave and be brave to tell straight to other faces that it's not okay to cheat it's not okay to lie even even a white lie is still a lie so thank you guys for watching maybe it was helpful helpful for some people that will use that as well one day maybe it will help you to go to get rid of the fine or something i don't know but so thank you guys for watching see you next time